Hi everyone, I want to show off some cool new features we're working on with the Dartium build, which is Chromium with the Dart VM embedded right in it. So here we're looking at the Dart editor, and we have some simple Dart HTML code. You can look that we're creating a new button, and we're adding an ID here, some text. Classes.add gives it a simple class. Uh, one of my favorites here is the new way to add an event listener on uh, click.add and we have our anonymous function right here to simply alert that something is clicked. Then we add our button here to body.elements.add. Now the nice thing is I don't need to compile this to JavaScript because I'm going to run it in Dartium here. So let me reload here for you and show you it's all working. Yep, it's working. So what's actually going on here? Let's load up the JavaScript console. And you can see here the HTML file points directly to the Dart file. So this is running actually in the Dart virtual machine inside Chromium. Looking at the source here, it's the same source file we saw over in the Dart editor. And as we saw, everything's working. So that's cool number one, but cool number two is that the team has just started working on developer tools support for Dart. So we can begin to do some interesting things like set a breakpoint. So let's go ahead and reload. And sure enough, the program stops right here where we asked it to. The button has not yet been drawn. Once you click play, the program resumes and it's working. So step one, get breakpoints working. Breakpoints are working right here. This is in Dartium. We have a public source available. Uh, if you are brave, you can compile it. And we're working on binaries to distribute. So Dart is getting ready. These things are adding all the time. We encourage you to check out the project at dartling.org and let us know what you think.